Hello everyone, welcome to Rivan Media and today I am going to talk about electric scooters. Electric cars are making lot of noise in the auto sector for a couple of years now. We heard of new electric car brands like Tesla and traditional car brands like the Porsche also entered the EV market and they also launched their new and the first ever electric car, the Porsche Taycan for 2020. And a lot of other companies are jumping into producing electric vehicles because EV vehicles are considered the future of automobile industry. But when it comes to EV vehicles, very few people think about electric scooters. So by looking at the scooter market in India, two companies that have launched some of the interesting electric scooter for 2020, which you might not be heard of, Bendling and Okinawa. And both of these companies are Indian brands. When I first saw this electric scooter, it just caught my eyes and I thought, why don't we make a just video about that? I mean, these are electric scooters, that is also a new Indian brand, so it will be exciting and interesting to see how they perform. So let's first start with the Bandling. It has three variants and they named Icon, Falcon and Kriti. The other brand Okinawa also offers electric scooters and they also have three variants available right now and that is iPraise, Praise Pro and Rage. If you talk about the looks, I think Bendlik gives that more of an electric vehicle feeling whereas Okinawa scooters looks more like traditional petrol and diesel scooters. So let's talk about the features of the scooters. The Bendlik scooters will give you up to 70 to 80 kilometers of range on a single charge and it takes around 3 to 4 hours to fully charge the scooter. It has a normal 3 pin adapter so that you can charge this with your home. You can go as fast as 45 km per hour on the scooters. You won't get faster speed though, but one thing that might interest you and that is if you buy the scooter, then you no need to wear a helmet, no need to have a driving license and also you don't have to register the scooter in RTO. So just grab a scooter and just ride it. But I will recommend you to wear a helmet while riding, especially in Indian roads. And if you talk about the pricing, then Bandling scooters will cost you just around 60 to 70,000 rupees here in India. But Okinawa brand scooters are a bit better when it comes to the range and speed. These scooters can give you up to 100 to 160 kilometers of range on a single charge. And you can go up to 75 km per hour speed. I think that's pretty decent amount of speed when it gets to EV scooters. To control the scooter, you have a disc brakes and EABS system and it uses a tubeless tire and you will get a decent ground clearance of up to 175 mm. Also, these scooters can be controlled through mobile phones. With your Okinawa app, you can check your battery life of the scooter, tracking and monitoring info and so on. These scooters will use lithium ion batteries that have 3 years of manufacturing warranty and other than that you will get a charging adapter in the scooter to charge your phone. And it has an anti theft remote lock so nobody can steal your electric scooter. So if you are living in cities and worried about stealing your scooter that might not happen with the scooter because it has an anti lock system that locks the entire scooter and you can't even push this vehicle when it is locked. Also, you will get a keyless entry in the scooter. Yes, it's available in the scooters as well. You don't have to insert your scooter keys to start the scooter anymore. Instead, just use a keyless entry and you are ready to go. If you find it difficult to parking, you have a special reverse gaze as well, which is interesting and you can carry up to 150 kilograms of weight with the scooter. So that's good to carry around two people. I took a ride with one of these scooters and my first ride with this electric scooter is amazing and fun to ride. It doesn't make any noise at all while riding and you don't even notice it actually turned on. I mean, there is no sound while riding the scooter. So it's completely a whole new experience to ride this thing. But you can't go too fast with this scooter. The speed is limited to only 45 km per hour with bandling scooters and Okinawa scooters can go up to maximum of 70 to 75 km per hour speed. But Okinawa scooter will cost you more than 1 lakh rupees here in India and also you need to register these Okinawa scooters whereas Bending scooters will cost you somewhere around 60 to 70 thousand rupees here in India and you don't have to register this scooter. That's interesting. And one thing that excites me the most with this electric scooter is it accelerates very fast and pickup is really good. 
I can say it's better than petrol and diesel scooters. It's battery operated, that's why it can able to generate nice pickup and you won't feel any jerk or anything like that with the scooter, it just moves. So if I am talking about my overall experience with this scooter goes, it's really good and I liked it a lot. Yes, speed is really a concern but if someone doesn't have a driving license or doesn't want to go to the petrol station all the time, then this might be a great option for those. And I would like to thank Best Motor Brahmava for letting me ride this scooter. A big thanks to them. And if you want to do a test ride or want to check this vehicle, you can come here in Brahmava Best Motors. It is just opposite to the city center. So you can come here and check out this vehicle. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe and hit the bell notification button for future updates. So thanks for watching and I will see you in our next video.